Hey guys, the Rei here with just a small update on things and just a little tool tip for after I'm done chatty chatty and whatnot. Oh, I don't have the music on. Um, uh, did a little slow, other than just some quick things of uh, of course doing like Overwatch or maybe a little Terra online. I do have the next Skyrim video coming out in the next few days or so. I've just been exhausted overall due to a bunch of health issues, but it is on its way, so we'll be able to be pulling that out really quickly, hopefully. <laughs> I plan to make it just as quick and hopefully fun as the other ones, of course. They have, uh... <sighs> I, I hate putting it off and being a little slow with it, but it's just what happens. I can't exactly do it to change the situation, and that's just what it is. Now, a little tool tip I wanted to is uh, how to get Diablo 2 uh, running, say, at a... Uh, I guess it's a would be called pseudo 1080p. I mean, it's not really 1080p or whatever resolution you want to uh, run it at. And uh, you're going to have to do two things. The first thing is to get the program called Shift Window, like you see right here. Whoops. Actually, I'm going to have to exit out anyway, so. Let's exit it out. So here's uh, Shift Window. You set it up, you change the rule name, window tile, but we'll get into that in a minute. First go to do your Diablo 2 shortcut and its properties and add at least under the target section dash W to run in a window. And that's when you get shift window after that. So after you get it, so it runs in a window with dash W right here, make sure you run it and it'll open up in a window like this. Shift window, you open up on the side, and as I said, you change the rule name. I changed it to Diablo 2, and for window tile, when you select it, this will be popped up a little window on the side, and of course, you just select Diablo 2. And after that is grabbed, you can just hit trigger it, and it'll automatically put it into windowed full screen mode. So that way you don't have to mess with the resolution of the monitor or say you do have like a 4K TV and you're just messing around, which if I start competitive play with a bunch of friends and things, uh, I could be running around in Diablo 2 while it goes on. Uh, the uh, version shift window they have now, uh, I believe it's what, 1.2, it's 1.02, there it is. You need to actually save the presets, so... Because every single time you open it up, you're going to have to redo this <laughs> little thing here. And, uh, yeah, it's actually quite annoying to have to do that every single time. You can also select a different monitor if you want, which is very nice. My other monitor is a 4x3, so it'll look properly on there. But, you know, I want to show it up on uh, here. Hopefully this helps somebody. Um, if it does, that's great. I'm happy to be of help. And uh, that's really it for this tiny little update. And something to show now all the rest of this video is just going to be me running around real quick i'm going to go kill on dariel and get to the second stage i don't like it down here <laughs> i don't like it down here either uh where's the exit because i already had found it before where to go down ah uh, it doesn't seem to be showing up now so i guess i'll have to go find it again I forgot if there's a Catacombs 3 full level or if it goes to... Or was it like right... No, what am I doing? I'm looking right at it. I'm doing Nimrod. It's right in the top corner there, stupid. <laughs> I don't play Diablo 2 that much, obviously. I mean, I don't have my old saves and whatnot. One of the things I loved about this game years ago, actually, somebody made a Lord of the Rings mod and I just trapped myself like a idiot. And uh, it made the game a lot, lot harder, but of course that's way past and I'm sure it wouldn't even come with the base patch to be able to do it on here. Yeah, there's a Catacombs level 3. I completely forgot about it. So, of course the game doesn't look any different than 
800 by 600 resolution. It's not like it increases the graphics fidelity or anything like that. It's just so that you're able to uh, play without having to change the resolutions on your monitor and such. And um, you can just do whatever else that you want to do. I actually forgot about those guys down here. I am going the completely wrong way and somehow my Skype just launched. That was actually kind of odd. It was very odd, but okay. <laughs> this is another boss, yes it is. Oh, I don't get trapped. I've been running into so many bosses in here. There we go. Jeez. They're just all over the place. Uh, run, 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 run. I'm out of my speed. I'm just looking for the way down because I want to end this. And champions all over the place, too. Hey, go away. Someone jumped to Ruby. Yay. I forget how long Act 1 is. I always think that it's shorter than it is. And I was I was thinking, I was like, oh, by level 12, I'll be out of here. And I'm like, oh, here I am. What am I, 15? 14? <laughs> like, I'm still here. I have the worst luck, honestly, in the Diablo games. Namely because, uh... Hmm. <laughs> Namely because I just got a horrible sense of direction if I play this or used to play like Fantasy Star Online. I would always be able to find every little nook and cranny. So if you wanted to find the way out, don't follow me. At least in procedurally generated, you know, maps and such. Hey, I have lifesteal too. Is this the way? Probably not. A complete dead end for me. Yeah, complete dead ends everywhere. Ran out of stamina. So that also makes these uh, longer than I would want. Just because of my horrible sense of direction. Is that it? Yay! What do you know? I found it. Oh, I actually got a full belt. Stay a while and listen. Put that on. That has more defense. Yeah, right. Whoop. Let's see. It's 116, 117, exactly. Get those properly done. What's this large charm do? Another 19% poison resist. You know what? I'll keep it for this fight. Other than that, I should be good to go. Set that down there just in case. I love how that uh, auto hit works on like those guys. I'm actually surprised. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Completely wrong button. God, 
Come on. You annoying little turds. Did I just pick up a hog helm? Yeah, I did. Actually, didn't trigger it. That's odd. Come here. I'm actually got like 30 plus resistance to her, so. She doesn't actually scare me that much. Yay, look at all the all the rares. It's the last thing, a throwing axe. Can I make room for that? Doesn't look like it. Death becomes you, on Dario. Surely I can. Oh yeah, those only take two. This is a great victory indeed. And Dario. Yes, and Dario's death brings new life. Finally, we may rejoice. Yes. Yes, yes. Rejoice all you want. Does this ring any good? Damage, health, resistance, and plus to mana each kill. I think I'll replace that. <laughs> she sells for a lot of money. Oh wow, I didn't realize I had two. <laughs> this actually sells for it a lot more. Alright. Let's get everything slapped back to how I had things. Alright, um, I'll probably slap that into my chest and that's all for the video. If you watched the video and you liked it, then uh, of course like it, dislike it if you didn't, leave a comment below, and uh, don't forget to subscribe.